Hey, 2nd District, how's it going? Representative Andrew Barkas here today with another Barkas Breakdown coming to you today live. Well, not really live, but we're coming to you from the House floor. As you can see, it's a little quiet here and I'm just finishing up some work. Just got done with another busy session and man, it is week four now, so it's getting pretty crazy around here. We are just about done with our committee work. This is policy cutoff week on Friday which means that all those bills we've been working on are going to get here to the House floor and we're going to start doing the long sessions of working that legislation through the process. I think we're getting close to 100 bills already off the floor of the House, including two huge pieces of legislation, and that, of course, is the capital budget and the hearse fix. Very happy to see those two things resolved. They're carryovers from last year, of course, and we came up with some great bipartisan resolution on both the capital budget and the funding, the bonds, and the hearse fix, which is a great fix for the state of Washington, providing that assurance on our most precious resource, water. I want to really credit a couple of my colleagues, uh, Representative Dave Taylor and Representative Vincent Baez, on their phenomenal work negotiating this piece, along with many others that uh, spent countless numbers of hours making sure. Is it perfect? No, it's got a lot of things that some people don't like. Uh, I voted yes on it because I am happy with what came out of that and the fact that it's going to give us some certainty moving forward with the water issue for development, for building homes, for our economy and other things. And speaking of economy, I got to tell you, right now we are seeing some pretty phenomenal economic growth, not only here in the state of Washington, but throughout our country. And you know, what can we attribute that to? In the country, we're seeing a lot of regulatory work. We're seeing work within the agencies. We're seeing reforms that we haven't seen in many, many years, including a monumental tax reform that is going to impact each and every citizen in this country. And as a small business owner, you know, I see that. I'm talking to my employees and I already can see the benefits moving forward for what that's going to have on my bottom line in the business that I'm in and what that's going to mean to my role in my community of being able to offer my employees better wages, being able to do more philanthropic work in the community and all sorts of things. So I'm really excited about what's going on in our country, but you know, it's also happening here in the state of Washington. We have seen unprecedented growth over the last couple of years. Our budget now here with the last forecast that came out is showing about a, almost a 14% growth in revenue. What's that growth in revenue mean? That means that we have the resources necessary to fund the things that we've been working on, like education, like the capital budget, like all the other things that we've been talking about. We've also seen an unemployment rate at a historic low, about 4.1% for the nation and I think we're in the state of Washington right around 4.5. That means people are working, they're getting back to work. People working means the economy is moving and when the economy is moving, the state of Washington's moving. So you know, as I sit here on the floor of the house and I'm thinking about all this legislation and stuff, there's a lot of talk about more taxes. There's a lot of talk about a carbon tax that's supposed to be for the environment when in reality it's just another big tax for a bunch more revenue for the state of Washington. We're out hearing about a capital gains tax, which of course is an income tax. We're hearing all sorts of other revenue packages being put forth when I just got done telling you the fact of the matter is we have great revenue. We have an economy that is robust and moving. Do we need extra revenue to come in and take care of this stuff? In my opinion and in many of my other colleagues on this side of the aisle, heck no, we don't need any more revenue. I'm telling you, the tax thing is out of control and we need to make sure that we're doing what our nation is doing and that's rolling taxes back. That is looking at reforms that will help more people get back to work, more small businesses, more communities in our nation and in our state make sure that they've got the revenue and the resources to do what they got to do. So I'm going to keep fighting on that. I'm going to keep working on making sure that new taxes are not going to be part of what we're going to see here this session. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a challenge. We're hearing it every day. But I'm going to do my best as your representative for the 2nd District and for the state of Washington. So anyway, hey, I hope you enjoy this breakdown from under the dome here in Olympia. Keep writing to me. Keep reaching out to my office. It's going great. I think we're averaging record amounts of meetings right now. Watch for my newsletters, email blasts that are coming out. And stay in touch. Constituent work is one of the best things about this job. I just had a chance to introduce my bill today working with a constituent. I'm really excited about that. So, hey, I really appreciate all your support. And as I always say, it is absolutely an honor to be your representative in the 2nd District. And thanks for tuning in to another Barkus Breakdown.